Hello everybody and welcome to Tutorial Haven and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Red Rising modification mod for Men of War Assault Squad 2. Um, there's been lots of comments about this and like people have been having issues and I'm just going to do my best to clear just the show you guys the general install and how to do this all. I am a little bit ill so if I just start like randomly stuttering that's just because like my throat is just like completely destroyed. Uh, I've been playing lots of Men of War and I've been shouting at people, having some great times. So, the first thing you need to do is download all of the stuff off the main page, so all the fixes and patches and the core mod itself. Um, I just recommend opening them all up and just download them all at once because it's just easier than you'll just have it all there ready to go. Now, the biggest one is the Red Rising mod, that's just like the core mod. It's 6.42 gig. Takes a while, it depends on your internet. But yeah, so once you've got it all, you don't want to start putting files anywhere yet. First thing you want to do is just open up Men of War. I've got it on window mode just so you guys can see it a bit easier. Right, just get a second load up. Right, so first thing you want to do, jump onto options, go to mods, disable every mod you got. Um, otherwise you may get conflicting errors and then it will start dooming itself but once you've got everything set up um, feel free enable some mods but oh, god knows what will happen I, I I can run these two without any issues cheats what doesn't work too well with uh, the modern one just because half the stuff's not there but yeah make sure they're disabled and then you have any issues so click apply uh, that came up for me god knows why I think it's supposed to delete my entire documents bin this morning let's see Click apply, quit the game. Uh, first thing I do, the next thing, sorry, is crack open these RAR file with either oh god, was it WinRAR or 7zip? I just prefer using 7zip, it feels more industrial. Um, extract files. I wouldn't recommend doing open out archives, it just bugs out so much. Now you're gonna go into mods for Metaphor Slot Squad 2. I'll just copy that. This may be different to wherever your game is installed to. Um, you'll find it. Paste that into there. Then click OK. Now this will take ages depending on your hard drive. Um, it's going to take a while for me because I'm not using an SSD currently. I hope to upgrade soon. But I'm going to quickly pause this while this does its very long transfer. Alright, so here we are. The, the file was extracted. Um, now this error may occur, it may not. It doesn't make much difference at all. That's why the fixes actually replaces this file and fixes it. So that's great news. So click close. Good. Now you'll see the file Red Rising now in here. I wouldn't recommend like activating the mod and playing with it in editor until we've got all the patches on, just because otherwise you may create files by playing with the editor and it may really bug it out quite a bit. <coughs> Next step is to reopen Men of War again. Now what I'm about to do, you'll be doing this quite a lot, so um, just be prepared. This is quite an in-depth tutorial, so let's just try and... I'll try and do it as fast as possible, but then at the same time, try and give as much noise as possible. So jump over to options, mods, enable red rising, apply. First time, this is going to take like a minute or two, or 30 seconds, it just depends on how happy my computer is currently. Um, you, so you want to activate it then deactivate it. You'll do that after every single patch and fix um, just so the game works. I'm going to quickly come out of it just so you can see. Here we go, Red Rise modification. Jump over the options. Now deactivate it. And I'd recommend having your game on your taskbar down here just so you can keep doing it really quickly instead of having to go through Steam. Then close it. Wow, okay, that's the first one done. Now the body text. Um, let me quickly just get this up so I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, so body one, it, if we download it, it should be called body, but I just put one so it's in order. So you want to crack that open. Oh, you download the extract this one, you should open up using archive. This needs to go into mods, uh, resources, um, entity, I think it's infantry, equipment, and body. There you go, that's the file we need to replace with that one, that's the one that bugged out, that's the error we saw. So you literally just take that out of the file, pull it in, that's only going to take a couple of seconds. <coughs> Copy and replace, lovely. Alright, so that's the first one done, now you want to go back onto the game. So yeah, jump over the options, go to mods, reactivate. 
and just wait a second for it to do its thing. If you've got an SSD, this will be a hell of a lot faster, but I'm going to upgrade soon. So I'll activate it again. So that's just literally applied it. Now I'll deactivate it again. <coughs> Not very well. Might have to run off school, play some men of war. I mean, uh, rest. Um, exit. Now, here we go again. Crack open the fix. Open archive. Fix 2. Now, this one is the most complicated one because it takes. You've got to read the, t, um, the TXT. I'll crack that open and I'll just show you it. I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you via video. Right, okay, so the dot ammos. Right, so we go resource set. I'm guessing it's stuff. Yep. Ammo. Now you need to find these. So I need to find the 7. 7 0. Oh, this is going to take a while. Okay, so we need to find the 7 0 oh, 6 2. Okay, there's the ones we need to get rid of. Select them all like that. Delete. Now go back and put them back in. And this file goes into set and environment. Uh, and is that in there? There we go. We delete this one and put in the new one. Alright, there we go. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Now we're onto the patches. Um, let's quickly jump back onto the game. It's horrible donuts on the market. It tastes like shit. Right, options, mods. Crack on Red Rising again. I completely want my game, so just to do this video, so I've just lost all my maps. I've got about that. Oopsie. But that means I can start fresh, maybe. Okay, there we go. That's activated. Turn it off again. If you're doing this yourself, you can do it a hell of a lot faster. Boom. Exit. Gonna rack up the steam hours. Right, now let's do patch 3. There we go, it's nice and easy now. Jump out here, throw both these files, boom, right on top of them. Um, then it will just take a second before it's them all over. Look at that. And do all oh, hey, 116 files. Boom, lovely. Jump onto the game. <laughs> Options, mods, red rising, enable. I wouldn't recommend doing this on a beta build just because there may be something that will mess up the mod, like a new introduction thing. I don't really know, but just <coughs> I'll just stay on the recommended build. Like currently, it's um, 3.40. Okay, there we go, that's another one done. Okay, that's patch 3 done. Now, patch 4. Open archive again, it's exactly the same. Drag them in. And this next conflicts, boom. Right, launch it again. I'm definitely racking up the steam hours. No times I've launched this game. Same again. <laughs> I love this. Alright, yeah, it's pretty easy once you've got the fixes out of the way. And then deactivate again. I might do some, like, make some maps and stuff to release them to you guys. It just depends how much time i got. I've got loads of exams and stuff at the moment, where it's just, like, chewing up my life. Okay, now, fuck. Um. Uh, okay, I've, I actually can't remember if I actually just did do this or not. So I'm just gonna double check it. It's worth just make just like it gets to the point where we've done it so many times you just forget. Options, mods, that so I didn't think I applied it last time. What is test mode? I've never used it. It must be some kind of like super special mode. 
Apparently it's extremely demanding. I might have, that. I might have a go off of that. Off of this. Give me like instant blue screens. Oh god, imagine that. Okay, patch five. Boom. Open up. Dove in again. Most of the new patches. If there's any more patches, they're probably exactly like this. If they're not, there's a. Um, I'll either update this video or um, just jump into the readme. It's pretty simple. But some people just prefer like watching it visually. Instead of having to read through a massive document of, you know, words and stuff. Some people just prefer visual. And some people prefer theory. It's different learning techniques. Options, boom, mods. Red Rising. My friends could be like, what's he doing? <laughs> Sorry, that's probably like, oh, I think I'm picking a flying actually. If you guys need any help, um, just jump onto my, just either message me off my bot or message me on steam deck and uh, apply okay with most things most of the issues are pretty resolvable some stuff is like other like marvel mods are like you know created um havoc right i think this is the last one oh uh oh uh ignore what i've just done it's still there <laughs> okay last one now this is just resource quite a small one dump it right in there so you don't have to go into the files individually move, and that's what I've done the first time, then it didn't work. So I've done it like this last time, and it works fine. Oh, it's actually quite a big one. Wee, look how fast it is, yay. Unless some of your computers are, like, super fast. Okay, just make, make sure you do override all of them. Right, boom. Now, close that. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Okay, then that's all of them. Now, go over onto the game again. I'm sure this video's been pretty dull. There's not. I might put some music on the background, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, then quickly activate it. And lovely, you're completely done. Um, I'm going to quickly jump over onto Steam oh, don't click that X, and launch the editor. Oh, lovely. Okay, that's all done. So that's all the horrible stuff out of the way. Now, see if any major errors come up. Oh, thanks to. Um, yeah, just thanks for all the like help, guys, all the comments and stuff. Like. I wouldn't be able to do this without some of the comments have like helped me through some of like the issues I've had on here and it's been like great. And I'm just hopefully I can share my my expertise with you guys now. This will take a while, so I'm, oh, I'm rendering something as well. Oh, no, that was pretty quick. Oh, it's one of the bug maps. Lovely. Uh, make sure everything works. Now there will be some issues in this, but it's still in like very early phase. Um, what do we want? Vehicle modern. Uh, what should we go for? Tank USA M1. Now don't worry about these errors. They're not. They're, it's just it's sometimes just the map that causes them. But there you go. Most of these work. There'll be some tanks that will crash the game. Um, human units. It's uh, what's it, Commander? Uh, it's MP USA. You'll see still see some of the World War Two stuff in here, but you know it's all fine. All the guns are in there. But yeah, every patch and stuff will be helping the game run better. Look at these tanks, they're so lovely. Um, just make sure, like, no. Uh, alien. Which one is it? <laughs> oh, man. You got some really cool battles on here, some seriously cool stuff on here. There's, like, there's just so, so much you can do with this. Like, you can make so many, like, you can make a movie, like, a proper, like, decent in game movie of some of this stuff. Especially with the new patches and stuff. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, if there's any more issues you're having, just comment down in the description. Um, or hit me up on Steam and I'll do my best to help you. Um, but definitely keep your eyes open uh, on the Red Rising page, my page. On Steam and on my bot. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in my next video. And goodbye.